Hi guys, in today's video, we're going to show you how to run a uh, vector error correction model as well as a uh, vector to regressive model. We will start, in, we will start from uh, show you how to test uh, unit, unit root, unit root uh, in series. After uh, showing you how to test unit root uh, in series, we will show you how to uh, estimate a bar model. A, a bar model. After uh, a bar model, we will also show you how to test uh, queue integration as well as uh, uh, testing for lag structure. After uh, co integration, we we'll show you how to uh, finally run a vector uh, error correction, uh, error correction models. So you have your <coughs> your data imported from uh, in in eViews. Um, we have to, for example, to measure the impact of. Uh, the impact of uh, debt on GDP on growth. So as variable we have uh, uh, GDP. We have commercial open net of openness rate. We have uh, GDP per capita. We have uh, inflation. We have a uh, ratio the ratio debt over uh, GDP as a variable of. Uh, that we are going to use in our models. So uh, the aim is to show, uh, to, to, to see whether or not uh, debt have an impact on GDP. Is a macroeconomic model that we're going to estimate right now in order to uh, make policy uh, recommendation. So we first of all going to test for our unit group test. Uh, our first variable in the database is commercial openness. Open our data. You can in uh, in the tab view view and then uh, you can for example look at uh, at graph graph of our variable. Uh, so we came on view if we are going to test for unit root uh, we came for view and we, uh, we click on unit root test unit root test so we can test for uh, we have the possibility of choosing uh, many tests uh, we have decay fuller test uh, augmented decay fuller test we have decay fuller uh, test we have uh, Philips Peron test, uh, we have KPSS test, and so on. So for this example, for example, we will uh, let the default value uh, in EUs, which is augmented TK Fuller test. And we can test for level, uh, the, the, the first difference, we can test for second difference, uh, stationarity. So we will uh, test for first uh, uh, for level uh, unit root test. So we click on OK, and we have test result. So we have a p value that is uh, higher, and um, if we fix the threshold of significativity of five percent, we can reject. We can accept. Accept, sorry, you can accept the null hypothesis, which is uh, commercial openness rate has a unit roots. So uh, our series commercial openness is not stationary. So uh, let us back in uh, tab view and go back on unit root test. If you choose unit root in first mm -hmm. difference, we see that uh, our p-value is uh, smaller so that we can uh, reject uh, unit uh, root uh, test, which is uh, that our series have unit root test. So uh, our, our, our series is stationary in difference. So, 
So that's the result of our test. We'll uh, let this variable, let us look at GGP. GGP, you came on view, you need to test uh, back on first difference. Okay, you see that our series GGP is not, uh, is not stationary because the p-value is uh, higher than any threshold that we can choose for significativity. So we, uh, we can look at the unit root at first difference. We see that uh, our series is stationary uh, even though we chose 1% threshold. So we do the same thing for GDP per capita view. Uh, unit root test and uh, in first different we look at uh, we can see that our series is not stationary because the p-value is very uh, significant so we can look at uh, first different tests and we uh, see that our series is stationary in difference so we can look at inflation inflation we have uh, unit root tests in different and the unit root tests shows that at 5% level we can affirm that uh, inflation is stationary because we reject the null hypothesis which is inflation has a unit root test. So for now only inflation is stationary among our variables. We look at uh, ratio uh, at uh, ratio of debts over uh, GDP. The ratio debt over GDP. We look at unit root debts, and we can see that the series is not stationary uh, according to the, to the p value. So uh, in first difference, we can see that the series is stationary when we choose uh, five percent threshold so now that we have different uh, unit root uh, tests and the situation of uh, each other variable in our model we're going to test for uh, the beam path of uh, debt on uh, on economic growth so we we're going to use uh, gdp and a ratio uh, debt on the GDP as uh, as uh, dependent variables and other variables will be used as uh, as covariance. So uh, when we are we, we want to estimate the bar, if you the first thing to uh, to do is to go in the tab quick. We can go to estimate var, estimate var. So uh, we're going to first of all estimate uh, standard var. Our antigenous variable are, as I told you, uh, GDP, GDP, uh, and uh, you just put a space and uh, you put uh, as your second. Uh, Androgenous variable, which is uh, ratio uh, uh, ratio debt uh, on the GDP, which is a variable that will be used to capture debt information on debt. Androgenous variable, we are going to put it in this uh, this uh, interface and. Uh, you see that uh, if you have chose the constant as a, a, a default endogenous uh, variable, we let it like it is, and we will add other uh, uh, endogenous variable that will help us explain the impact on of, uh, debt on GDP, on uh, economic growth. So our uh, first endogenous variable is uh, GDP uh, uh, commercial openness. So we, we differentiate the uh, commercial openness because commercial openness is not 
stationary. So uh, let's uh, notice that our variable GGP and debt are uh, stationary at first difference. So uh, we'll estimate first of all the var without, uh, uh, before uh, seeing if uh, our two variables are co-integrated, if we are going to estimate a, an error correction model. But in androgenous uh, variable, we will differentiate uh, variables that are not uh, stationary. So we differentiate the commercial uh, openness. The second variable is GDP per capita. We also differentiate it. GDP per capita. And finally, uh, we have inflation, which is stationary. So we will not differentiate inflation uh, because inflation is stationary. So after uh, introducing all these parameters, we just uh, click on OK and our VAR model is estimated. We can uh, see uh, the first equation which express GDP in function of lab 1 and 2 GDP and as well as ratio of uh, debt over GDP with uh, additional var uh, uh, additional uh, exogenous uh, variable which are differential of commercial openness, uh, differential of uh, GDP per capita and inflation that are our dependent uh, exogenous uh, variable in our model. So um, we have the air square which is close to uh, which is 99%. Um, we have other uh, estimate parameters. So we have the two equations, the equation of GDP in function of other variable and the equation of uh, ratio debt over GDP in function of... Uh, so if you come back on estimation, uh, you see that uh, in part for default, lack interval for endogenous variable is uh, is two one to two lacks so uh, we'll go to uh, test a lack structure to see what is uh, optimal uh, lack uh, that we, we need to introduce in our model in order to uh, to make it optimal so we'll go in view view and go and go in lack structure and choose the last uh, option, which is lab uh, length criteria. So uh, in our model, we will put uh, three lags and click on OK. You can uh, put, uh, for example, five lag, five lag, and click on OK. So we will see in our model that uh, uh, the optimal lag structure is uh, is two here. The start mean that the optimal. Uh, uh, so we can come come back on our lab structure. First of all, we will put a uh, tr uh, tree as a, a lab to introduce in the model, and we see that uh, lab two. Uh, uh, is the criteria that is the criteria that uh, optimize according to other uh, the, the, the two lag is the best uh, number of lag to introduce in our model according to various uh, criteria uh, criteria uh, uh, that are uh, sequential modify ls uh, LR test statistic, uh, final prediction error, Akaike information criterion, uh, Schwartz information criterion, and Alan Quinn information criterion. So we will put in our VAR uh, a two lag as uh, indicated in by default by EVUs. So we have our uh, VAR 
of 2 lakh that is estimated with the O ratio. As you, you, you know, uh, our independent, uh, our endogenous variable GDP and ratio are stationary, are not stationary, so we will test for co-integration of the two variable in order to see uh, whether or not uh, we estimate a bar model. So a vector a, the error correction model. So we look at uh, view, we go in uh, co integration test and we click on OK. So there are too many possibilities. So the default value is uh, trend, uh, intercept, no trend, in constant, and var and test var. So that, uh, there, there are too many options you can put uh, no intercept in what uh, or trend in in your in your, in your bar. you can uh, have intercept no trend so you have to choose uh, uh, different option different option among uh, orders so we choose the option uh, intercept in our series and we click on OK. So you should see that uh, uh, trace test uh, should that indicate that there is one co-integrated equation at 5% level, which means that uh, we will estimate a vector error uh, correction model as well as far as uh, there is a co-integration, one co-integration equation between GGP and the ratio depth over GGP. 